Hey guys, what's up Virgo? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for the month of October. We're going to break it down week by week and look at two situations for each week so you can have a heads up of what's coming up. So I will timestamp it below so if it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe so you can come back to it. All right, Virgo, remember it's a um, general reading, so just take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below. My goodness, you have a lot of people wanting your attention here. And it looks like somebody's going to work extremely hard to try to change things. To be able to be the one to have, to be able to want to hold on to you. Wow. Ooh, that ended nicely. You ended with the wheel, the moon, the star, and the six of cups here. So one of these contenders may end up turning into something that's a little bit more. You got the queen of wands and the five of wands for the first week. You are noticed. You are doing your thing. It's all eyes on you and you have a lot of people wanting your attention. Like I said, the second week, it I mean, this is like a no-waste time energy. Um, for some, don't overspend that second week, but something's going to work out in your favor. Things are really going to change in a direction that I don't think that you see right now, and it's going to pay off. All right, Virgo, let's see what's going on month of October. Tell me about that five of wands. So for like I said, for the, yeah, the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles. That's your energy. Um, it looks like you're gonna also you're kind of going with the Empress there. That's kind of about the things that mean the most: love, partnerships, family, home. So it kind of feels like that's where your attention is, and you're getting a lot of stability there. Yeah, I think there's there's kind of a, there's something that's sparking re-sparking or just an outpour of emotions there show me that um queen of wands for virgo for the first week as well kind of a laid back energy the eight of swords yeah you have decisions there you have options for some you could be starting a business or just trying to figure things out you're doing it from a very confident very practical way but you have a lot of people you have a lot of options there and it's going to lead to a choice that may make you a little bit nervous. But it feels like also at the same time, you know, there's somebody who's trying to, like I said, for the second week, you've got the Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. So somebody's working hard to either save up money or to hold on to something. Show me this uh, Four of Pentacles, please, for Virgo for the second week. I'll I'll tell you about career and finance at the end because I want to confuse things. Yeah, this looks like this is somebody who's had some time to think. This could be somebody who walked away and now they're regretting it. Show me. Uh, there is some type of what is that? Five of Cups, the Queen of Wands. Yeah, somebody's trying to hold on to you. This feels like somebody feels like they let you down. Or it's kind of like a mopey energy. Show me that Ten of Wands. Feels like, like I said, there's, I don't know. That Queen of Wands energy is very confident, so I don't see that Five of Cups being you. Yeah, because see, there's some type of forward movement. There's communication there. Um, but you're kind of in this energy of focusing on yourself. Your career, your finances, you're working your ass off for you. But there definitely could be messages or travel there as well. Around career, there is a lot that's happening. So I'll tell you about that at the end. Show me this uh, wheel, please, for Virgo for the third week. So the wheel is associated with Jupiter. That's a good luck card. That's things changing in your favor. Two of Cups. Oh, okay. And the Hermit. That's your energy. Somebody, Something's changing here. And now it's evolving like seeing the whole picture around something. Something that wasn't, it was kind of not feeling all the way like it was on point the second week. 
now somebody's things are changing and seeing that whole picture. Because with the week before with the five of cups, you know, make sure you're looking at the whole picture and don't just focus on what's built there. But then the next week, the two of cups appear. So it's like somebody sees these two cups that are still standing back there. Show me this moon. With the moon, that's Cancer Pisces energy, but that's things that are hidden come into light. So you could be dealing with another earth sign. This is where, um, <clears throat> this is a pretty stable, grounded, protective energy. Somebody's taking a chance there, wanting fresh start, wanting a new beginning, wanting to take a chance. Show me this uh, Six of Cups. There definitely could be some travel. Six of Cups for the fourth week, please, for Virgo. The Justice card. Deeper energy. Show me that Justice. Okay. This looks like somebody is trying to uh, financially, I would... As somebody who's trying to move past things, who's trying to to balance things and, and invest the time and energy, like continue to move forward, but there's some stagnation. Show me the star for that same week. And it could be financially. Show me the star, please, for it. The Eight of Pentacles, the Page of Swords. So it's 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 like a work in progress type thing. Um, for some, they could be somebody could be kind of watching you around work because it doesn't feel like you all the way while you're working on this. I keep see yeah see the strength the the uh, hangman. I keep seeing the eight of cups. It feels like there's still something that you're kind of disconnecting from. And you're working towards a goal, towards something that you really want. But it feels like there, there's still some, uh, like I said, work in progress. So around career um, or finances, the first week you could be kind of nervous where things are standing. Very confident, very busy. You could be starting your, new, your own business or kind of just trying to figure things out. So the second week, you're working your ass off. Finances look good. There could be talk, communication, messages there. Don't overspend. Um, for the third week, it looks like there's a chance of taking some type of risk or leap of faith that, that is required there. And like I said, there is a lot of change and growth and kind of like getting enlightenment around the situation. So for the fourth week, for finances, um, I mean, you could be going back to school, learning something, but you're putting in that effort towards it. There is work to be done. You're putting the work towards what your, what your goal is, what you're wishing for, what you're hoping for. All right, Virgo, I hope this helps. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe for the bell. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. You guys take care and I'll see you next time.